Hey, no bro, how are you doing? Find on yourself, find on yourself. This is the labor youth voice. Yeah man, yeah man. Positive vibes, positive vibes. I am I'm calling from Labor. Labor. You love your PM? Will you vote for him? Okay, it's, it's, it's different from when I when I was a little boy growing up in society in a Mao village, a village that never sleeps. The roads, we never had these roads before. We we never had these vibes before. And um, when when you're going to vote, you look at you look at before and and now, and you can tell the difference. And you have no choice but to vote the Dominican Labour Party, even after two major storms. You can now tell the difference. So I'm, I'm going all the way with Labour. Mao, of course, they're looking for Philip so UWP. They can't find him. They said he was by the headquarters the last time they saw him. So flattered in his hands. But Labour all the way. Labour all the way. Labour all the way. Thank you very much, caller, for that. Yes. Yeah. So young Thank people, you. you are hearing. You know, even from the older folks, you know, what opportunities you are given as a as a youth and as a Labour youth, especially, and why really. You know the Labour Party is our future and our choice. Okay, so caller, you call back. Yes, yes, yes. Labour, Labour, Labour. Young people, good morning, good morning. Let me just introduce myself again. I'm Earl White Jr. and the host of the show. Now we. Now we in the house. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. And this is uh, You Voices of Labour. Saturday morning. So we're going to go into the trivia. Morning. So, we got a call on the line. Caller, good morning. Good morning to you. That's Roosevelt Scary. Call to pick you up. Good morning to our leader, <laughs> the Honorable Dr. Dr. Roosevelt, Roosevelt Scary. Scary. You know, we're happy that you're listening to us That's this right, morning. I am, I am. I am. I am. I want to congratulate you, the young people, on, on this initiative. I think it's very important that there be uh, youth voices articulating the policies and programs of the country. So I just want to begin up quickly. I know you're getting a lot of callers, but I don't want to hold up your line. Okay, thank you. Okay, P. Thank you, right. thank you, thank you. Good morning. Thank you, PM. Good morning. I hope one day you'll invite me to the program. <laughs> oh, oh, well, you, we'll have to check. We'll have to check our schedule, PM. Yeah, we'll yeah, let you know. Yeah, we'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I had a very constructive, I just want to mention, I had a very constructive engagement of the young people of, of um, Jubla last night. You know, you know, very, very interesting um, conversation with them. You know, very bright uh, young people. You know, the, the the team leader there did a fantastic presentation. You know, and, and I, was, I was exceptionally impressed um, with the the, the the professionalism, the the articulation, and and the deep interest in in the in the development of the community and the country as a whole. So I wanted to give up this morning as well. Okay, PM, thank you. Very and you know, much. and you know, we know it's a short call that you you made this morning but do you have anything to say to us you know really quickly on 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 the educational revolution of the dominican labor party well you know i mean when you when you talk education you talk labor um you know when we came into office as you know less than 44 percent of all primary school graduates had access to secondary school in dominica we achieved universal access to second education in 2005 and uh, we didn't only increase access to education we also provided the parents and the children with the means of taking advantage of the opportunity so textbooks school uniforms school shoes school bags uh, and very importantly transportation yeah. when you look at for example the young people from daily and la Plaine, many of them could not make it to school um, because the the bus fare was about 120 150 dollars per child per month wow and, and you understand, for any family in Dominica, that's a lot of money. So understand yeah. if a, a root farmer in Davis, she has three children going to second to ground school, um, three times 150, do the maths. Hmm. And, and so the government coming in and providing transportation to the to this, to this, to this children, we now allow this parent to, to keep in her pocket 450 or so dollars. You see, to the money she could use to pay a light bill, money she, used, she could pay um, for groceries, money she could pay her water bill, money she could, she could use to buy inputs for a farm. So it is not only an investment in the children, but we're keeping more money in the pockets of parents. Then you look at, at, at college. I mean, my time at college was very long ago, and of course I'm sure in your time, I mean, there was a limited number of students who had access to college. And I keep making the point, when I, when I attended gram, um, grammar school, when I graduated there, 
122 of us service the exes. And only 20 of us made it to college. You know, which meant which mean 102 young, progressive, <clears throat> bright people did not make it to the college. I mean, uh, from my own constituency, when I went, to the co- I, I went to the college for two years, and I was the only person from the constituency. Today, I have about 66 young people from my constituency attending listed college. Mm-hmm. 66. From, from my experience, you know, there's about 1,800 new applicants this semester alone. You, you see, and of course, with the not only access to, to, to education, um, but also um, giving you the means of taking advantage of it. So free tuition, and this only place in the Caribbean with free tuition for college students. You know, and of course, don't talk about university education. Whether we're in opposition or in government, labor has always been at the forefront of, of education. You know, we, we, we're the party that, that train doctors and, and nurses and architects and engineers while in opposition. And, and, and having given the opportunity to, to govern this country for, for, for a period of time, we have been able to use our position in government to the furtherance of education opportunities for children. Look at also the, the early childhood level. We transform early childhood education in Dominica by putting in new policies, new standards, uh, train teachers, uh, provide schools with, with um, teaching aids and teaching material, uh, also providing uh, many preschools across the country, early childhood institutions with direct monetary uh, support to, to pay for teachers, to pay for, for, for staff, um, and also training. Um, you know, if we, people have more access to, to, to skills and, and, to, and to skills training than any time before in our history. So, so we have to continue taking advantage of these opportunities, opportunities as young people and, and of course, we introduce a two percent loan, education loan at the at the, at the um, aid bank, because we recognized back in 2007, there were, as has always been the case, that there are many children who could not access loans from the financial institutions because they do not have the collateral, they do not have a loan title, the parents don't have that to secure the loans. Um, so we brought in into a two percent loan, which does not require you to have, a, a, you know, security um, by way of a saving title to um, guarantee yourself that loan. And the loan is up to fifty thousand uh, per annum. So, so there are a lot of, you know, for us to talk education uh, and, and terms of what this Labour Party has done, you know, uh, would take us a very long time. And when we set ourselves the goal as a party and as a country to have one university graduate in each home in Dominica. We were laughed at by the opposition. They said, this, is, this can't be done, scary talking nonsense. Yeah. But look at, families need to look at themselves. And to gauge what we have done in education, each household needs to ask ourselves, who among us in this household had a university degree, uh, attended this, the college in Dominica before 2000? That is how you have to test it. And I'm telling you, for, for example, look at primary school. To talk about teachers having a degree at primary school, far more a second degree, far more a PhD, was unheard of in the school system in Dominica, in the, in the primary school in Dominica. So you have teachers with first degrees, you have teachers with second degrees, and you have teachers who are even pursuing PhDs at the primary school level. You understand? Primary school teachers. And don't talk about secondary schools. The secondary schools in Dominica now is 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 is, is littered. They're they're littered with um, university degrees. I mean, I mean, it, it, and all because of the progressive policies, the understanding of Dominican Labour Party, that for you to build a country, you must have trained and skilled and competent, qualified people in every uh, sector of the economy. So 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 you know when you talk. When you talk education, you talk labor. And when you talk labor, you talk about education. And, and this is something that we have placed a lot of emphasis on. And, and, and we have had many, many achievements yes, um, mm-hmm. to date. Yes, Thank you for having me. Thank you for calling. Um, I will be available whenever you, you invite me to come. Yes. And yes. so we can have a conversation on, on other issues. But I, I really just wanted to, to call the big you up uh-huh. and to and to express my commendation to you and, and, and uh, for taking the leadership and having this program. 
I mean, two of you are highly um, articulate um, individuals, very knowledgeable individuals, and, and I'm sure you'll be you'll be exceptional hosts. Thank you. Thank yes, you. PM. Thank you. Thank okay. you. And and on okay. behalf of the on behalf of all the young people whose lives has been transformed positively by the Dominican Labour Party, um, we say thank you, and we look forward, PM, to having you on our show very soon. So, so anytime, brother. Yes. Okay. All the best. All the best. All the best. Okay. Bye bye. Yes. Thank you. Yes. So. Yes. You see, you f you have to make a choice. Either you want to be part of the party with talk and no action, or the party with talk and all the action. All. And this is why we're saying yes to Labour, yes? Labour, Labour. Labour. Yes. Well, we have so many calls. We're missing them this morning. But please call back. Keep calling. Keep, keep calling, calling. Keep calling. One time, one time. Let me just let me just shout out to the P. Bush and Vekas constituency. Oh, we have a call on the line? Yeah, oh, we, we got a call on the line. Caller, good morning. Rosa Central is in the house. Rosa Central is in the house. And good morning to Melissa. And good morning to Melissa. And my team. And she's doing very good for Rosa. Yes. And she's doing very good for Rosa. We love her. And we and we know. And we know for sure. And we know for sure. She is going to be sitting. Yes, yes. Okay, so bringing up Rosa North. Yes, bringing up Rosa North, and of course our visionary leader, the Honourable Doctor. Yes. So at this time, I know we have so many callers, but at this time we have a little trivia. Remember, we said that we would be giving away a brand new, and and and, and, and listen that I say a brand new, not a a brand new HP laptop valued over two thousand dollars. Wow! 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 Yeah. Out comes the sun Shining on my face again Ah Grades get me high High so I can meditate Oh, oh Dreams of brighter days Ah, ah, ah As I puff on my window and glance through my window, I realize there's no turning back. Oh, got to complete life's journey, though things get contrary. Oh, got to make it to the top. See, I'm searching for a way to survive. Working so hard, I know job will provide. Oh, see, oh, I'm keeping my head high. Mama, tell me the limit is the dreams of Just keep standing, oh. now give up the fight, no. The sun will shine tomorrow, we shall see the rainbow, and I will never let go, no. Dreams of brighter days, ah, 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 ah. Highest grades we blaze, ah, 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 ah. Dreams of brighter days. Okay, this morning we have a trivia question for you. We're giving away a laptop and we'd like to thank, you know, a sponsor from the Rosal Valley. You know yourself, big yourself up. And the question this morning is, how many young people have received educational assistance for the 2019-2020 school year? Again, how many young people have received educational assistance for the 2019-2020 school year yes yes you're free to call in hello caller good morning okay. and, and we're looking for callers yes good morning caller how are you the young visionary young people 
Labor rights are to avoid. How is everyone on the program? Everyone is good, mommy, yeah, and the program is way. good, mommy. Oh, but I so, mommy, feel, you, you so call happy. to answer the trivia question, mommy? You getting a laptop well, what today? You say? I want, let me say before I answer the question. I want to say good morning to my doctor, Dr. Honorable Prime Minister Roosevelt Kerrit. He's a gift from God, and no one cannot take it away. I voted at 18 years. I was born from my mother's womb a labor right, and I will die a labor right. And I'm happy you all the young people pumped me up this morning. Continue pumping us up. Let us wake up. Labor cut to right. And what Bye-bye. I am saying, for the young student, the student, well, I am saying right now, they're talking about $2.2 billion. Well, $2.2 billion young people that get scholarship and do well in this country under the Labour Party. Okay? So young people continue to pump us up. We need it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mommy. So we're giving our young callers an opportunity this morning to win the trivia prize, Mommy. And we have so many calls on the line. And we want to thank you so much much, for calling this morning. Thank you. Okay, so um, the trivia question again is how many young people have been, have received educational assistance for the 2019-2020 year? So callers, we're looking for ages 18 to 30. 18 okay. to 30. Yes. Feel free to call. And um, of course, when you... If you do get this trivia question, you will have to present your ID to the party office on King George the Fifth Street to get your prize of, uh, you know, the brand new brand HP new. laptop. Yes, brand, brand new. new, brand new, brand new. Plastic and we, ha- we, we got a call on the line. Call good morning. Oh, oh try call again, back, try call back, try And again. we have two minutes because, of course, we're going into the next part of our program very, very soon. Is yeah. interviewing the candidate for the Rose Valley constituency, Dr. Irving McIntyre. So, guys, you have two minutes to call. Two minutes, two minutes. The WhatsApp mm-hmm. number is 613-1307 and 448-7334. Yes, Hello, good caller, morning. Good, good morning. Hello, good morning. Yes, now you call in to answer the trivia question. I'm going to try on behalf try. of my daughter. Okay. On behalf of it's, your daughter. Okay. Talk where are you calling us. from this morning? From Trafalgar. Okay. The Rose Valley, Valley constituency. Valley. So what's your, what's your answer, caller? Good morning. Okay, we lost you. We lost you. Try again. Try again. Try again. Two minutes. Two minutes, guys. Two minutes, guys, to win a brand new HP laptop. Hello, caller. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. It's 578. 578. Oh, wait, 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 you're, you're wait, close. Wait, wait. You're, you're close. close. You're, you're close. You're close. You're you hot. You're hot. You're red you, hot. A little close. hotter. A little hotter. A little yes, hotter. Yes. Good morning, caller. Hello, good morning, caller. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yes, and what's Where your Where are you answer? calling from? 600. 600. Oh, one day, God. One day, you're you're so close. You're so you're close. You're so it's, close. It's hot in here. You're so close. You're so close. We're burning here. We're all red in here. We're all red. Where's Yes, 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 callers. So, so one more minute. Yes, good morning, caller. We have another caller. Good morning. Good morning. Six fifty. Six fifty. Oh my God, you are very close. Boy, you, 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 you almost there. You almost are there. We, we can so feel it. Close. You are so close. Wow, wow. We taking one more caller. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Five seventy-eight. No, no, no! You, you getting, uh, you getting warm. You're not hot again. You're not red hot again. Get yeah, back yeah. to red hot, people. Hello, caller. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yes. Five ninety. No, 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 no! We was there. We was hot. All you, all you, all you. Oh, no. It's more than that. Can you understand how many young people get educational assistance we from the government? Some. It's more than 550 people. Yes, good morning. Hello, caller. Good morning. Good morning. And what's your answer for the trivia question? 500. Oh, no, you get it. No, 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 cold, no, no. We're missing cold. it by a whole hundred people. Let's get this. Let's get this. We have 30 seconds. Hello, caller. Good morning. And what's your answer? Um, what is the question? How many young people have received educational assistance for the 2019-2020 school year? Um, 670. Six, well, uh, uh, you know, no, 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 not there yet, not there yet, but soon, you know, but not there yet. One more caller, one more caller. 
Six thirty. You hot a little more, a little more. It's a more. We have some answers on Facebook, but. Six fifty-five. We have a winner, Randa Barry. Tell uh, from Facebook live. She got the answer. The answer is six hundred and fifty-five students who have received educational assistance for this school year. Again, we'd like to thank the Dominican Labour Party-led government for all their assistance that they're giving to us. Yes, and yes. you know, um, thank you, Randa Barry. Of course, you have to come to the Dominica Labour Party's office on King George V Street with your ID, present your ID to receive your laptop. Brand and new. this is Youth Voices of Labour. Yes, I. A medical doctor by profession, a true son of the valley. He is warm, very friendly, charismatic, and hardworking. The word Irvin is a household name in Dominica. Come here, your winning candidate unfolds his plans and programs for the Roto Valley constituency. The valley wants him. See you on the 29th in the Roto Valley for the launch of Dr. Irvin McIntyre, the winning candidate of Labour in that constituency. The Dominican Labour Party invites all Dominican patriots, all Labour rights, Labour! We move in again! On Sunday, September 29th, we are heading to the scenic village of Trafalgar. The Dominican Labour Party invites all Dominican patriots, all Labour rights, Labour is launching Dr. Irvin McIntyre, the winning candidate for the Roso Valley constituency. We are putting the ex next to Dr. Irvin McIntyre. We will deliver just like we've been delivering in the past. We have to let the work continue. There is work being done everywhere in this constituency. Come listen to presentations and solidarity messages from all the party officials, plus our political leader, our loving and caring prime minister, the honorable Dr. Roosevelt Skerritt. There will be live entertainment by Hunter, Daddy Chess, Lucas, Rio, Owen G, Fatty Man, Yeo, Mr. Sharif, and Triple K in International. This election will be the most important in our political history. We vote in for continued progress. This election is about the future of our children. So join us this Sunday, September 29th, for the grand launching of Dr. Irvin McIntyre, the winning candidate for the Roseau Valley constituency. There will be shuttle service provided from the Garden to Trafalgar from 1 p.m. See you there. Lib Look out, we coming. Look out, we coming. Look how we coming. Passing through the market the other day. Happy with what all your people say. A doctor going up in the valley. And we are all going to vote for him. Long before his name did mention. He said with pride and distinction. So there for this election. Doctor Irving is the man. To the call, you'll be supported by all a man with vision and purpose. For him, the people come first. Dr. Dr. Irvin, Irvin, the nation loves love Dr. Dr. Irvin, Irvin, the valley wants him. Look out, we come in. Look out, we come in. Look out, we come in. He's looking for no fortune or fame. 
His good deeds don't make him name. All his life he's been serving people. Now we're taking it to a different level. His plan is to make the valley the best place to be, the best place to see. Best tourism destination on the entire island. To the call, you'll be supported by all a man with a vision and purpose. For him, the people come first. Dr. The nation loves him. Dr. The valley wants him. Look out, we come in. Look out, we come in. Look out, we come in. On our road to empower the youth. In education, you will see the truth. His plan is to focus on family. No child will be going hungry. Maximize the valley potential. Improving our sights is essential. Need a man who is honest and ready. Dr. Opin, I'm giving the key. A man with a vision and purpose for him, the people comes first. Dr. Dr. Owen, the nation loves him. The nation loves him. Dr. 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 Owen, the valley wants him. The valley wants him. Look out, we coming. Look out, we coming. Look out, we coming. Good morning, good morning, and a welcome to Youth Voices of Labor. This good. morning we have the Honorable. Should I call him Honorable already? Boy, uh, you know, I, I, I say if you speak it, it will happen. So let's speak it. So we have the Honorable Dr. Irvin McIntyre with us here in the studio at Kyrie this morning. Good morning, good morning. Doctor, how are you this morning? I'm pretty fine this morning. Good, good, good. Very well, very well. It's good to be here. It's a pleasure being here. And thanks for welcoming me here and having me on your program this morning. Let's hope we can have a nice interaction. We can get information across and um, everybody can interact and contribute. But it is really nice being here this morning with all of you. So you don't mind us grilling you this morning to get in to know you personally? That's allowed. Okay, okay good. Okay, <laughs> good, good, good. So, doctor, I understand that you're being launched tomorrow, doctor. Yeah, tomorrow is a big day. Yeah, yeah. tell me how you 